staying happy and creative. My name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK, and we're going to do some doodling. So I hope that you're in the building safe and dry. I know that our friend Paul is also here uh, with you. So if you have any questions, he's here to answer your questions. And other than that, aren't we lucky to be home and dry? Actually, I'm, in, I'm at Clarity Towers this morning because over the road from where we live, they're building four new houses. I know, big houses. And they've knocked, they've, last week they cut down all the trees and the excavators uh, are now starting. And it is so loud, you can't hear yourself think. So I thought, we don't need that. I'll come to work. So there you go. Anybody here apart from myself? I'm not seeing any life here. Oh, please tell me there's someone else other than myself. Paul, can you hear me? Yes, you can. Sound is nice and clear. Here they come. Always good to have your company. So let's see. Did you have a good weekend? Oh, it's coffee. Did you have a good weekend? Was it waning? It was certainly waning down here. It was waning cats and dogs all weekend. Yeah. And uh, Friday, oh, it's been so busy because it's been a Grey Friday sale. So it's been pretty manic. Still going on, friends. Um, still going on. It finishes at midnight tonight. So if you want to treat yourself again, if you want to go in for one more nibble, <laughs> the prices stay low till midnight and also you know there's this lovely little um free beautiful tag stamp if you fancy i did a blog yesterday so help yourself uh and look up in on the blog but it's a very nice very nice little thing and it's a gift it's a gift gift tag from us to you if you go back and have another little bite of the cherry there you are so what else was I going to tell you? Yeah, it's been very, very busy. Friday, of course, we were on television doing a Black Friday sale um, on Create and Craft. And um, did you watch with the bell? ding a ling a ling Very high energy. I really enjoyed it. And I think that that may be something that's got legs. I think I may have to um, adopt that. You know, it's it's... It's great because it's really compartmentalized, as our Grace said. You know, it's very, uh, that's selling, this is demo. That's selling, this is demo. Ding, 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 ding. It was really bouncy. And um, and I my my kind of, the feedback I'm getting and my impression is that, that you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I know the presenters did. Paul, um, you know, he's much better at running down the counter because my head is like a washing machine. So that was, that was, I think all in all, it was a good idea. Anyway, so let's have a look. Um, this week, busy too. This week, busy too. We're gearing up for our craft along on Thursday night. So I'm hoping that you're going to keep me company there with our charitable drive. More to be revealed. Talk about that later on. And now we're just waiting for a few friends to join us. Okay, so let's see. I'm tired, I'll give you that, but it's all right. High energy, let's go, let's go. So we've been working on our twiggy, our twiggy baubles and our, um, really nice, aren't they? So if, you, if we look at where we've, where we've been and where we're going, right? I think you'll enjoy it because it all ties in really. So, so you can see this was one of our uh, baubles here um, with the really cool stencil in the background. I showed you the stencil. So that's rather nice. And, um, and then there's the second bauble that we drew together last week. Um, glad tidings, peace at Christmas. That looks rather lovely, doesn't it? Nice set. Okay, so we've got that as well. So I was thinking today, since we know how to colour it in, and we've done the we've done the work, and we've done the the stencil. Work, excuse me. So we know how that works also. So I was thinking, why don't we do something different today rather than do the same thing again? 
because you can always go backwards, not back. You can always look back and have a look at what we did to create the stencil background, those lovely stripes. I like that. I really like that stripey thing. And then, um, you, you know, if you want to know how to doodle the doodle, the, the twiggy baubles, that's already been recorded, all available on Catch Up on uh, YouTube. So I'm sure that Paul will be more than happy to give you the, um, the link for YouTube. And then I was thinking today, perhaps I'll show you how to make a garland. Same sort of style, but let's make a garland, you know, for the top of the card, for the side of the card. If you've got the theory and you know how it works, then you can make a garland to fit anything, can't you? You can make a frame. But a garland I thought would be nice. So we're going to do a simple twiggy garland. You cool with that? Okay. So to do that, let's let's have a look. Because I, of course, you could draw around a cup. You can, but if you've got these, this is much better because you can see because in there, in the clarity embedders, we've got the art wheel, and the art wheel, it gives you it's it's ideal really. So what I've done is I've taken one of these out of here, and I've. I've just taken a micron pen and I've gone like 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. And then I've gone, right, gap, gap, 1, gap, gap, 2, gap, gap, 3, gap, gap, 4, gap, gap, 5, and all the way around. But I only need this little bit really for my garland. So I've just numbered them easily. Thing is, I can literally, I can take a tissue, I can wipe this off but it gives me enough orientation. So this is why they're not written on, because you use them for different projects, you do different things. So let's just take that, we're gonna, we're gonna use that. I'll let you we'll go through it again. So we're gonna do that. Then we've got this one, haven't we? So I thought it'd be nice to use, to use this as a, an opportunity, just so that we've got something to work on. We need a piece of, um, Tracing paper again. Treat yourself to some tracing paper. And then we'll just fold it in half like that. Okay. There we are. And then we can slide our artwork in there like so. And then we know, if I, let's say we want to put a garland down here. Or we can put a little one up here. It's, it's up to you, right? If you want to use a little one up here, I don't think it would fit, but... Um, I'm just going to show you the theory. Whatever you decide to do, you can use different size circles. See, that's the key here. You just use sm the smaller one uh, to go tighter. If you want to, if you want to drape the garland a bit more, then you. I'll show you. I'll show you. It's, it's clever. It's very simple though. So let's do that, and then I'll show you where we're headed. I think it's always good to see where we're headed. See, it's very simple. Very simple, yeah. So you've got this garland, and you've got this comes out a bit further. So if I took it from the top, you see this is it hangs down a little bit further. This is just really rough, friends. I've been so busy trying to get ready for the craft along on Thursday evening and doing the penguin treasure hunt for the first of December, which is imminent, right? That I've been in a bit of a scramble. And and I thought, Twiggy Garland, not Judy Garland. No, not Judy Garland, Ken. We're going for Twiggy Garland. Yes, she's quite quite skinny. Um, <laughs> but it's been a bit of a scramble because the penguin craft along, the penguin treasure hunt, that took a long time. I hope you appreciate it, people. <laughs> when I got to Clue 9 on Saturday, I was losing my mind. <laughs> And then I thought, oh, I don't want this to drag on. I'm just going to muscle through. And so I kept going. And I must have spent about nine hours on this peng p -p -p penguin treasure hunt. But it's quite good. It's quite fun. Once you, once you break the back of it, if you know what I mean, because there's these rhyming couplets, you've got to do these rhymes. You've got to figure out what products. It's quite a challenge. I've done my bit. Now it's up to you. And I don't want to hear anyone say it's difficult. Difficult is doing the treasure hunt like actually creating the treasure hunt. Difficult 
is not looking for penguins on a website. Okay, <laughs> let's define difficult people. <laughs> I was ready to lie down in a very dark room by five o'clock on Saturday afternoon. So as a result, I apologise, but the um, the garland is a little bit lastminute.com. I still think it's got legs. All right. So let me show you how it works because you can adjust it. <laughs> is anyone here apart from me? Yeah, there they are. Sitting in day surgery, waiting for op. Oh, nice, Chris. Sex there. <laughs> have a good, have a good day. I hope it goes very, very well. Okay, I hope it goes very well. See, and that right size is everything. Somebody's sitting, waiting for an operation. With a derriere hanging out, and I'm whinging about penguins on a website. Life is strange, isn't it? Don't you find? You never know what's around the corner, eh? You really don't. Right, come on. I'll show you. So the first thing we're going to do, have you got your Geo Art Wheel template? I'm just going to go over what I've done so that you understand what we're doing. Right. Micron pen. First of all, put 12, 3, 6 and 9 o'clock in here. With the little where that where so you've got some sort of guide, and then you're going to go 12. Like mine's a little bit there, you go. That'll do it's a little bit skewy, but it's not that crucial for this one. It's not, we're not making geometric flowers like we did before. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right, so we want these ones here. So this is going to create our garland. You see, we need we need a curve. And I decided this is a good enough curve. So let me, let me overlay it over the one I've already done so you get it. So this, right, is 12 o'clock lunchtime, remember? So we put that in the middle, see? So we put 12 there. And then if we want to bring this in, look, I'll show you. You leave 12 at the top, leave 12 at the top, and then you slide this in and you do a 4 o'clock one, see? So you, you bring, see this is the fold, 12 o'clock here, 12, not cock, clock, right? 12 o'clock there, all right? So you've got 12 and 4, like that. And then you put your line in. See, and that gives you that lovely curve. If you wanted this to be bigger, then you go, leave 12 at the top and come back, come to 5 o'clock. See, so then it's a little bit longer and it's a little bit, it hangs a bit more if you like, you see. So you could do a garland. This is my point. This is why this is so cool. You could do a garland that's got a long hangy bit in the middle like that in the center. Then see what we've done is we've done 12 to 4, right, 12 to 4. And then up here, I've gone 12 to 3. Do you see? 12 to 3 either side. Is that logical? It's good, isn't it? There you go. That's it's as easy as that. And that so we start in the middle, and then we put our two on either side. So grab yourself a piece of tracing paper. You see, because then if I take that and I pop this in here like so, how nice is that? All right. And I haven't added detail, so here I haven't gone in with the. The tiny ones. We could do that on the on the actual card. We don't have to do it. We don't have to do it on the tracing paper, do we? No, mum. Right. So that's what we're going to do now. So we'll take our tracing paper. And I'll put a bit of card in there, right, so I can see what I'm. So you can see what we're doing. And then we're going to go. You need a pencil, don't you? Just a HB. Any old pencil will do. Right. Twelve o'clock. We'll go in the centre. Let's just eyeball it. That's got to be the middle. Right, that'll do. Don't have to overthink it. It's going to be enough room either side. Right, 12 o'clock there. Then we're going to swizzle this round. So 12 o'clock still here. And then we're going to bring four in. There you go. So now let's make sure it's in the center, as center is centered as we can get, like that. And then you're just going to take your pencil and do that. There, that wasn't too hard, was it? 12 o'clock, four o'clock. Cool. Then come down and go. Stick to 12 o'clock there, 
and swing this round. So this is three o'clock. See, two o'clock, that's my point. You could make a little little one. Listen, if you're feeling frisky, you could do 2.30, 2.30, 2.30, dentist, Chinese dentist. So you could go 2.30 if you like. You've got so you've got so many options with the garland if you use, and that's just using one of the circles from the nested embedded. So you could go to any, there are about three or four different starting curves, starting arches, if you like. It's very good. I have my moments because I was trying to draw around a cup, which is all well and good, except you can't get it even. Mm. Okay. Right. Sh should we do, let's do three. Three o'clock. There you go, like so. So we'll just do three. Stick to the plan, Gray. Three. Don't don't stray now. You've worked it out. There you go. So we've got three. Stick to three there. And then we've got 12 up there. So that'll be equidistant. Long word. There you go. That'll do. Like so. So when I turn it round, now you may think, well, that's not exactly rocket science. And I think exactly the same. It's a piece of cake. Until you try and do that with a cup and you try and get the two on left and right the same size. And if you don't believe me, try it. I mean, compasses would work if you've got a cup. But seriously, this geo plate with the little clocks on it like that, the little dashes and dots, piece of cake. So once we've got that, yeah, everything else is, uh, we're home and dry really. So now all we've got to do when we look at this is we've got to, we've got to decorate our garland. Yeah. So I'll pop that under there so that I'm not leaning on the pencil work so you can see it. Yeah. And the first thing we want to do, let me just push the card up to the fold so you can see what I've done. There we are. So what would be nice to start with would be if it ties in a little bit with the stamps or the, the doodles that we've already done. So now, for example, for a hemplo, we could put a little, the little droplet here, a little droplet there. We could add a little droplet there, a little teardrop. So we're getting a bit of a garland vibe going here. We could put the teardrop at the end there so it ties in nicely. Okay. And then we need to start on our, our actual branch. So we'll start with the center one. So now you've got choices here. If you wanted, you know, you could do exactly what, what we did here where you could stop here and you could go into the into there, then turn around and go into there. See this one, I've gone all the way down. Should we try a different one just to, so here for example, I could go, I could do my little droplets there. So this is the end of that piece. I could come in here, put my little thing, my little knobble at the end of the pine branch there. So I could put a branch coming down this way to here. Do you, do you see what I'm getting at? So you can do, and they don't all have to be straight and perfect. Remember, we did, we had this before, didn't we? They can be a little bit strange because that's what they are, friends. Like that. Okay. So we've done that one. Nice. And we can turn this one round and we'll come into... So they join in the middle, is what I'm saying. But it's a nice way to make a simple garland. Let's start on this end. Right, here we go. Are we happy? Are you happy? Are you? We've got a lot going on at the moment at home. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, so I won't. But got a lot going on. And not much I can do. You know, it's just the way it is. And then once again, we go down that road of control the controllable, do the doable. Why worry about stuff that you can't do anything about? And so, you know, I had that little epiphany last week where I said, don't, you know, just if you feel anxious or you feel worried or you feel sick or whatever, 
just feel it. It's nothing more than an emotion. It's not gonna, it's not a reality. It's just your feeling, your reaction to something. You know, if I feel fear, it's only a feeling. A tiger hasn't come flying into the bedroom. <laughs> I just, if Dave's listening now, he's going, he'll be saying, who are you calling a tiger? <laughs> you understand what I mean though, you know? It is what it is. It's a feeling. It's just an emotion. And I can't be, I can't be worrying about or reacting to something that isn't real. It's just my feeling about something. So it's been a real blessing to be, you know, because you wake up at four in the morning, you're like, oh, yeah, that's happening. And then you just think, well, yeah, but it's not happening in the bedroom right now and there's nothing you can do about it, you know. And so then you just just go with the feeling. I really liked what, um, I, th I think it was Myra last week, she said, what you resist will persist. So I was really practicing that, you know, really practicing that. And it works. It really works, friends. But I can't hang out with my mates on a Monday morning like this and pretend, you know. I, I, I often fake it to make it. But there are times where I don't want to, I just don't want to pretend. I'm 64 years old. I'm going on 65 and I'm fed up with always pretending that everything's fine when it bloody well isn't, you know. And, there's, and it's, it's just, everyone's got something. That's the thing. Everyone's got something. You have, I have, he has, she has, you know. And so we hang out on a Monday and we hang out on a Thursday. And just for an hour, I'm going to doodle a blinking garland with my friends because the tiger's right outside the door. <laughs> He's doing press-ups in the car park waiting for me. <laughs> You understand, metaphorically speaking, I mean. Now, let's have a look. So we've done that one coming in, which is different to that one, but that's all right. We've got variations on a theme, yeah? Now, let's have a look. So I've done that. People are asking what I've used. These are these clarity embedders. They're really brilliant because you get that lovely embedding. Obviously, you get the embedding, you get the masking, and you get this idea. So you get, it's like a measurer as well, really, if that's a word. Okay, so this one, I think I'm going to go down this way. So this is the end and that's the top. So this one, I'm going to, this is the, this is the knobbly bit there, and then I'm going to go down here. So even though this one is a bit, there we are. And don't overthink it, you know. It's like everything else in life. We overthink everything, don't we? Well, I do. It's all right. Okay, this time next week, I'll be on. I'll be getting ready to go to Gatwick to get on a plane to go and see Gracie. Hallelujah. There you go. So that one's gone that way. So I think this one, I'm going this way. Yeah, so this week, quite busy. Let me tell you, grab a pen. Uh, tomorrow, oh, actually, I'll start at this end. Tomorrow, um, Paul, Groovy Tuesday, 10 o'clock. Nice. Yeah. Then on Thursday, yeah, don't forget the sale, though, with the free Dubri What's It. Last orders, friends, today, mid midnight today. There's some really, when I was doing the penguin um the penguin hunt on, on Saturday. I was obviously trawling around on the website because I was trying to hide the penguin and look for products. And I was really, I thought, oh, look at the prices here. These, you know, it's blimmin' excellent, really. So, so that stops on at midnight today. That's nice, isn't it? There you go. And then tomorrow, Tuesday, groovy Tuesday with Paul. Right, let's put these in because this since this is going to tie in, right, we can use our swirls as well. So how about how about we go swirl like that? We don't like it. You can always do it again. Swirl. That's a better one. That one went a bit ropey. A bit ropey. Should we do it again? Um, yeah, so Tuesday, Groovy Tuesday. Thursday, I know, I need to talk to you about what we're doing in the shack on Thursday 
because we were having a craft along with these bauble stamps, aren't we? So let's have a think for a minute. It's 20 past. Yes, now would be a very good time to tell you. So on Thursday, I was thinking, if you're down for it, uh, what about six o'clock? Should we hang out at six o'clock? Because I was hoping to do um, not only uh, a, cr uh, a card using the stamps, but also a card using the groovy plate. A tufa, a tufa. Do you fancy? Um, let me just pop that to one side and let me talk about what you're going to need and what we're going to do. Can we do that? So I've got a list here. Oh, well, let me tell you what, what we're using first. So this is really brilliant. You know our children in need. We did that We did that charity drive, didn't we? And we said, if you buy the stamps, the Twiggy bauble stamps, and you buy the Groovy Play and or, right, um, all profits go to children in need. And we're going to run this right through until um, the end of the year. We can still, oh, you could always, they're not going to reject our check, are they? You know what I mean? So I'm um, just looking for the groove plate. So we've had you, so the idea is you buy it at the full bullet, no discount. We take the VAT out, take out the cost of what it costs to make it, and then we send everything to children in need. And it's been a real big success. We've sold, um, I think the last time I looked, it was new, it was edging up on 200 of the bundles. So that's really, really a lot of money that we can send. You know, I'll keep you posted. But this was the idea. We doodled it in the shack, didn't we? We doodled this stuff in the shack. Let me show you. Let me take that away from it. We doodled this in the shack. And then let me just grab my bits. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start hopping around now because these are the stamps you get. Okay. And then um, there's also fabulous groovy plate there you go that's it that's it um that's it there see so there's the groovy plate and these are the stamps there's also a set of masks to go with this which is imperative very important and this is what we're going to use on thursday in the craft along because i don't know where the some of the masks are. um because what I thought would be really nice is not only do you, you donate to children in need, you get a fabulous set of stamps and a groovy plate for your donation. You know that the donation is real. There's no, no cuts here. It's going straight there, right, all profit. We're not making any money on this one. And then in addition, not only that, but we get to hang out together on Thursday night and make cards together. So I'll show you, what, show you some tricks and tips, how to use them, you know. Um, yeah, so it's a win-win all round for me. But what I do need to do is let you know what you're going to need on Thursday when we crack on at six o'clock, you see. So, so I've got a list. If you're ready for this, I just want to pan out a little bit because, excuse me one second, let me just go like that so we can have a look at the list because I need all this stuff. Right, so the first thing we're going to do, let's have a look. I, I've written it out and Paul will, um, Paul will uh, load it all over Facebook. So he will give you the links. He will tell you where it is. It will be on our website. It will be on Facebook. There'll be a download for it. He will create all that. OK, so check to the website as well. When you go shopping, you know, like you're going to go in and get some more gear to get to pick up your free tag. You could drop the download into your basket at the same time, couldn't you? We will create a downloadable list later today. There you go. Um, so so that's going to be. But I thought I'd give you the heads up because the other thing that we said this morning was if you um, if you do want to join in and you think, oh, but I want to get those pencils or I want to get that or I want to get that. If you write in the comments box when you place the order, um, craft along, yeah, then as the order comes in, we'll pull it to the front and get it out as soon as it arrives. We'll just prioritise it. So that way we can do our best to get it to you. If you do that today, Monday, Tuesday, yeah, we should be able to get it to you by Thursday. 
Can't say we don't try. Now, let's have a look at this list because I think it would be a good idea to that I want to do an actual physical list and a physical check, like Twiggy, Bauble, Stamps and Masks. When you get this, there'll be a mask. I've used it. Right, so that's a definite got to have. Then here, nested square embedders. I'm talking about this. I'm talking about this one here. So it's not the round ones that we've got at the moment. It's the square one, okay? I'm going to use nested square embedders. If you haven't got this, you know, you will work out just, this is what I'm using. That's all I'm saying. So then the next thing is I'm using a six by six inch white card blank cut in two. You can use seven by seven and trim it back. But the basic starting place is a six by six. So I took one of them and just cut along the fold. So I've got two of them. Okay, so that's that, six by six. Black archival ink pad. Yep. Tick. A distress ink pad. So what I mean by this is any colour. You need a colour. Pick a colour, any colour. Yeah, I'm going to go with tattered rose because I just like it a bit mellow. This mellow. You can pick any colour you like. You only need one, yeah? So you're going to use that. We're going to use some tracing paper, just a sheet of tracing paper. So that will give us our template so we can make sure that we get the positioning right for our stamping. So we've got tracing paper, stencil brush. So I've got the stencil brush that I'm going to use with this one, yeah? Does that make sense? You on it? I think physical, actual, a physical see it makes sense. Stencil brush, spot on sponge. Definitely going to go for a spot on sponge. Right, we need a spot on sponge. Um, voila. Right, I only need one. Micron pen. Micron pen 01. Good. HB pencil and ruler. HB pencil and ruler. Okay, HB pencil and ruler. Got another one here. Um, 12 polychromo set. Yes. So this is key. Right, we like these. Pergoliners will do, but I'm going to use the metallics because we've never really gone down the metallic road. And I thought, well, let's see what they can do. Let's put them through their paces. They're rather lovely. So we're going to go to the 12 pencils. See, the thing is, I bet these are still in the sale. If you jump now, I don't know, I might be wrong, but I can't imagine that we didn't put these in the sale. Tell me I'm wrong. Right. So there we go. Polychromo set. Quickie glue pen. Quickie glue pen, ideal. Perga glitter, perga glitter. There you go. That's definitely in the sale. Perga glitter. And then I used, let's have a look. Have we already had the low tack tape? Did I mention low tack tape? Masking tape. Yeah, I did. Masking tape. Right, back down here, companion paper. I went with Rainbow River. What we need is a, is a, a colour that goes with the ink pad you've picked. So I've gone, oh, look what I just found, <laughs> the mask. <laughs> right, masks. So I picked a colour to go with Tattered Rose. See, that goes beautifully with Tattered Rose. But interesting, on the back of this one is a really nice pink, and that goes really nicely too. So, you know, pick a mix, you can decide, or double up, okay? So you pick your colour, pick your paper, that's it. And then the only other thing is a seven by seven, a card blank. You need one of them as well. So that, my friends, let me just put all this back. So I've got it on Tuesday when we do the job, right? Um, that's what you need. And the download will be there. Or you could do a screen grab now. It's all there. That's for the stamps. Got it? So then let me just come over here. Funny enough, ironically, it's the um, the groovy list isn't as long, which makes a healthy change. Right, groovy craft along. Mind you, I haven't got all the gear. A twiggy bauble plate and spacer. Well, we just had that, didn't we? So we know. Twiggy bauble plate. There you go. Now, because I'm going to be using, let's have a look, an A6 plate, like so, right? Take that out of there. Because I'm using that, I need a spacer to go in here. Pick a spacer, any spacer. It really is only so that it doesn't shuffle around. Do you get it? So I've got one here, just a nice festive Christmas one. There you go. What's this one say? Deck 
the halls with boughs of holly. -la 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 -la. Nice, nice garland, girls. Right, so we put that in there. So we're going to use that grid plate, mate. That's what we need. The grid plate, mate. Absolutely. And this is in the sale. Grid plate, mate. Pico square dies in the sale. Plain parchment in the sale. Tools one and two. If you haven't got the Pico square dies, don't worry. Just cut it out. All you need is a piece of parchment. Uh, tools one and two. That'll do. Black mat. You need to soften the hard. Groovy tabs. Most of you parchers will already have this. Groovy tabs with a guard. 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 Pens. Ah, oh, yeah. Now, these are definitely worth having because this is the key to what we're doing. So you need these. Okay. Metallic gel pens. Pergamano. Very nice. So we've got them. That's what I meant by pens. Uh, Rainbow River Companion Paper. Same as what we had before. Card blank, seven by seven, same as what we had before, and a tumble dryer sheet so that these glide into the groove. There you go. So that's that, that's that, that's that. There's that list. Okay. And then we'll make a lovely card. So even if, let's say, let's say that you're not a parcher, you're not, you know, if you did decide to buy that plate for charity, Maybe this would be the opportunity. I'm sure that Paul, we've got a kind of with a blue mat, you know, like it's a blue mat with the tools and it's all in in one in one little plate. You don't have to get the great big starter kit. But that's what we're going to use, friends. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. It's been a while since we had a big craft along. I mean, Paul's been doing them with the UN exclusive. So there you go. Is that okay? I'm not a tech person. I don't know how to do that, but we'll try to get my Sue to do it. Okay. There's some ordering going on here. So let's have a look then at this. Let's crack on. Are we all right with that? I feel I'm on my own. I think you sometimes feel like that. It's all right. Dave's fine. Don't worry. Dave's good. Dave's good. Because gold. This too shall pass. Right, come on. My battery's going to run out in a minute. I can see it. But that's all right. I bet we can keep going. Let's have a look. Uh, so we've done our doodle there. We've done our doodle there. And then I did a nice little, like, pearls. See the pearls down the outside here? I thought they would look quite pretty rather than more doodles. So then we're just going to pop... The way to do that, really, is just to put little dots, like so. So this is going to look... This would look so nice as a a groovy plate, wouldn't it? You know, as a garland. Wouldn't that look pretty? So you go all the way down like that with your little dots. I think years of doing parchment art is starting to rub off on my drawing. Mm hmm. There you go. And as soon as I start doing this, I calm down again. But I'm really learning to see it for what it is. It's a feeling. It's an emotion. Not more, not less. Have it. Have it, I say. Just have the feeling. Have the emotion. And then let it be gone like a car, like traffic, like passing traffic, as Eckhart Tolle would say. See? And then this goes in there like that. That's nice. Simple, simple, simple. I don't mind simple. I think simple looks classy. There. This is going to be cool. Yeah. And then this one as well. But once you've worked out the, the curves like this and the different possibilities. Yeah, see? Isn't that pretty? You know, you could do what you like. And down here, if you wanted to, you could put diamonds. There are so many different options, you know, so many different options. And in the stamp set, for example, there's a really nice, see the little flower? See, that would look really pretty, like a little daisy thing there and there. That would look nice. 
I tell you what looks fantastic is this writing stamped out. Absolutely gorgeous. See, here we go. So you could, <laughs> here we go, here we go. Here we, so you could put the little hanging thing there, like that. And then you could dangle your baubles, couldn't you? Look, dangle one there, one there. And then you could say, Merry Christmas or Merry Christmas or Peace at Christmas underneath, couldn't you? Well, I tell you what, we may well do that. <laughs> now, I've already prepped it. We're sticking to the plan. I'm not deviating. Let's have a look then at what we're going to do. We need to transfer this now, friends. Yeah, got for that? Let's transfer it. Let's get in a bit closer and then we'll have a look at where we're headed. Right. Okay. So you can take those two. I'm not kidding. Doesn't that look pretty? Look, you see? So we've got our originals. They're nice. So you could do what what I was where I went down the side like that, like a long piece, or you could dangle it from the top and bring it down like that. Doesn't that look nice? Well, that's a, that's that wasn't planned, <laughs> but it looks good though, doesn't it? Yeah, very nice, very nice indeed. Okay, so we've done that, and now we want to transfer it. So I'm gonna, I'm going to transfer it to this, I think. Yeah, I don't mind the one I've just done, to be fair. So I need to turn it around. Let me just change the fold this way now, because I need the, I need the pencil on the inside. Let me just change the fold around. Crikey, Barbara. That's better. Trust the fold. Trust the fold. Okay, so let's make sure I'm on the right side. Go like that, go like that. Stick that in there so it's where you want it, friends. That looks quite good, I think. Yeah, and you could do the same thing on that side. Looks really nice. So hold it like that, but so that it doesn't move while you're transferring. Let's take a bit of low-tack tape. Tuck that in like so, so you know you've got it in the right place. And then just put the tape there so it doesn't, doesn't slide away while you're working. There you go, that should do the job. Hmm? That should do the job. Let's have a look. Let's give it a go. Let's see if this works. Now, the lead's on the inside, so there shouldn't be an issue. Let's see if we can transfer the pencil. Of course, it's back to school, this, isn't it? There you go. Wonderbar. Right, so we know that we got it right, because there's nothing worse. You go all the way through it, and then you realise that, actually, you're on the wrong side. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Right, here we are. One, two, three. If you wanted to... You could always use your, if you want a really nice straight line, then use your um, template, can't you? Rather than freehand, what do you think? Let's use the template. Because I tell you, here's the news, it's still in the same place. <laughs> Should be anyway. That'll do. Should we see if it works? <laughs> there you go. I love it when it works. Right, one, three. And then when I've done, when I'm done done, like that, I could just wipe all this off. There. Just get that in the right place. Watched a strange, very good film, but very strange film uh, last night. Watch, yeah, uh, it's, it's with Timothy Spaulding, fabulous actor, and it's called It Snows in Benidorm. Have you seen it? Interesting. It's like a character study. It's watching the, the, the you know, the way, the change in him. It's, it's really good. But, <laughs> you know, at the end, we watched it and watched it and watched it, and then at the end, Dave and I looked at each other like, 
why I'm there. What have I missed? So then you rewind it because you think, did I miss something? And then all of a sudden the, um, the titles came up, like the, you know, the end of the film. You think, yeah, it was one of those films. I went to bed thinking, what was that all about then? And then I Googled it and I hadn't got it wrong, but I was expecting, you know, we get so used to having a plot, don't we? Like there's got to be a drama and it kind of never happened, which is like most things in life. You know, you think they're going to happen and then they don't. But it's called It Snows in Benidorm. And if you were like, it's a, definitely a thinking person's film. Um, but yeah, what you think is going to happen never does. So, very interesting. Let's have a look. So what have I done so far? I've done the, the circles, I've done the hoops, and now I'm going to decorate. That'll do. Let's see. So. And here we go. Yoga for the mind. Yeah. Have you got your Christmas decks up already? And have you done your Christmas shopping? And have you made all your Christmas cards? Have you? Don't ask me. <laughs> Don't ask me. I'll tell you what I did do, though. I did, I did actually, on Saturday, after I finished the blessed penguin hunt thing, I did actually, because when I, so I went to Telly World, didn't I? I went to Create and Craft last week on um, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And so before I left on Thursday morning, I, I loaded the kiln. And I did a bisque fire. Bisque fire is is the first step, really. It's it's what takes it from being not baked to baked, biscuit fired, right? And so when I got back on Sat on on Friday, I, I didn't even. I I went and emptied it anyway. I went and looked. It's all good, all fine. And now I'm thinking. Them there are presents need glazing. <laughs> and all my friends and family are going, ah, oh, no, not more pottery. <laughs> Listen, it's good gear. They seem to have come out rather small. I know there's always a bit of shrinkage, but I was trying to make these lovely white, um, like porcelain, grog's porcelain. I thought I'd make some bowls and some little bud vases. But they seem to have come out a little bit smaller than I'd anticipated. So I don't know now. They're more like little, they're not cereal bowls. They're more like olive bowls. But they're still pretty. <laughs> I've still got to glaze them, otherwise they're not going anywhere. Honestly. What do you do, though? You set your priorities, don't you? And, and our priorities changed over the weekend. And at the end of the day, it is what it is. It is what it is, isn't it? So that's where we're at. And if I get my act together and I manage to glaze a few, because that's the other thing, see? It's all very well to say, well, you know, you could glaze a few. Yeah, but you're not going to put half a dozen. Uh, the kiln's the size of a fridge. So you're not going to put half a dozen pots. It costs a lot of money to run a kiln. So you, you're either in it or you're not in it. Normally, you know, if you're doing classes, at a, you know, in, a, in a, a studio, then you've got students and all their gear goes in. So, so the kiln fills up very fast. But when you're on your own, it takes a bit longer to fill the kiln. And I can't think, oh, yeah, well, I want to give, I want to give Jill... Um, a couple of cereal bowls and a, and a bud vase. <laughs> or I want to give Claire, you know, a little vase. I've got to do 50 or bite the bullet. So now I'm in a quandary. Now I'm in a quandary. You understand. 
Right, I need to do those, these little things down here. Yeah. But I can't take the week off work to sort the glazing out, which is pretty much what is required here, friends. <laughs> I'd love to. I'd really love to. But you know what? <laughs> We're in the middle of a Grey Friday sale of the year. So the last thing I can do is go off on a blinking glazing jolly. Yeah. So it looks like... Nobody's going to get either. <laughs> either everybody gets pottery, or nobody gets pottery, <laughs> and that is down to the size of the kiln. <laughs> so there'll be people going, "Oh no, I wanted pottery," and there'll be other people going, "Phew." <laughs> Never mind. It is so unimportant. I can't even. I can't even put into words how down the list of priorities that is now. Don't want to sound cryptic, but it's not my story to tell, you know. And I respect people's stories. I'm not a gossip, so I can't. I can't go there. Right? Doesn't that look good? I think we've even got time. To ink it. Um, is anyone doing this with me or am I on my jacks? Hey, okay. let's have a look. Inking, inking, inking. I just find this relaxing. I do. I find it relaxing. So while we're inking, let's have a look. Because I'm going off to New York for a, for a week, there won't be any shack on the 4th. So that's next Monday because I'm, I'm going to be going on, on Monday. Right, let's have a look. So what do we want to do now? Do we want to use this or are we freehanding now? What do you think? Are we going to use this to do the, the actual... Come on. We want it to be... Do we want it to be hand-drawn? Right, if you do it hand-drawn, we'll, we'll try both. If you do it hand-drawn, then if you've got to stop, you need to stop where there's a pine needle, okay? Have a go. In a minute I'll go. No, definitely don't do it hand-drawn. Right, so we'll go like that. Keep your eye on the road ahead, and then you just go. Slowly does it, and then stop. That'll do? Okay, hand-drawn. If, if you're not steady with your hand... Then you get your 12 o'clock and your 4 o'clock, like that. Okay. And then you run the pen round, same as you did the... This should work. Why shouldn't it? Right, let's have a look. Oh, bra bra. <laughs> Got my nail caught. That's all right, though. It's a needle. <laughs> there you go. Who says? Right, so you can do it either way, can't you? It's whatever you prefer. So you can go freehand if you're feeling... Confident. Or you can use your template. Yeah? Nice. What was I saying? Oh, I've lost my thread. Um, Paul, give people a picture of the bowl and vases. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll try that then. See how that goes down. Right, let's put these in. Um, just got to take it one day at a time, haven't we? One day at a time. It's fine. And this week, right, I know what I'm talking about, shack again. So we've got no shack on the 4th which is next Monday because I'm in the, in New York, New York. On the 7th, because I'm still in New York, New York. Or the 11th. So that's not Monday, not Thursday and not Monday because I'm coming back on that Monday. Okay. So 
the next time we'll get together will be the 14th, which is a Thursday evening. Okay? And then we'll meet to get on the on the Thursday, which is the 14th, and then and then on the Monday, which is the 18th, and then on the Thursday again, which is the 21st. So we're gonna go, we're gonna meet on the 14th, the 18th, and the 21st of December. That'll be when we get together again, after this Thursday, right? Thursday definitely on, because we're doing a craft along. The point I'm saying is, if we can hang out together three more times, oh, I'll come up with something really neat to draw. We'll doodle something cool, okay? Of course I will. We'll diddle, we'll, we'll diddle, we'll diddle doodle something cool, all right? And, um, and we've got three more sessions before Christmas. That sounds like a good idea, don't you think? Yeah? Do something cool. Mince pies, coffee. I've got to go on a diet, though. Friends, this week I am getting radical because I've been piling on the weight. It's like I, I'm eating. I'm comfort eating. I know what I'm doing. Definitely comfort eating. And I think... I think I'm not alone. And if I go into the Christmas season <laughs> a stone overweight, there's no hope. Okay, so I've got to take it back a bit so that I, even if I'm being careful, I'm going to eat more than usual at Christmas. So aren't we lucky, you know? But, so this week I'm going, I'm going on the water. <laughs> Water and bananas this week. Gruel. Because I've got to drop some weight before I go to New York for a start. For sure. Now let's have a think. Oh, it's these little bits here as well. These little nobbles. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's what I think, friends. So let's have a look. I'm on telly next Sunday as well. As if I didn't have enough on my plate. Hey. But the really lovely stamps. And I think they're in groovy as well. Um, they're new. They're beautiful. They're designed by Jazz. Our Jazz at work. And they're absolutely fabulous. So. Um. Sunday, three to five. I'm going to go with the bell again. I'm taking the bell. Ding a ling a ling. I mean, it's a lot of work, but it's just such a upbeat, high energy kind of fun. You know, I was talking to Dean, my mate Dean Wilson, smashing fella. You, most of you know that we're good friends, and um, I was spoke to him on Saturday, and I was telling them about the bell idea. And I said it on my blog. He immediately said, ah, presentertainment. And I thought, what a great word, presentertainment. He's so good at that stuff. You know, like craft a clock and that's all him, isn't it? Um, but I really like presentertainment. And I thought it was more interesting. I thought it was upbeat. It was fun, you know. And for those of you who didn't watch, um, I had a lot of control because I had the bell. <laughs> I had the bell. So I was able to say how long I spent on, de on, on demos, right? When I wanted them to come away from Selly Telly, I rang the bell. And when, and when I wanted to stop demonstrating, I rang the bell. Ding, ding. You know, so it, it was really, it was really good. It was good for me. It was good for them. They knew where they were. I knew where I was. And I, and I think the general consensus is that it was actually more fun to watch as well, rather than trolling down the counter for 20 minutes and then trying to remember what the deal was and then having to go back and keep recapping. Doesn't that look pretty? I like. I like. See, and then once you've got this, now... Oh, I wonder if I've got an even thinner one. These are in the sale. If you are going in for a second bite of the cherry, friends. 
Have a look. Thinner. O double O five, you see. And now, like I did here, you can soften this and you can go in now and make the make the fir tree or the branch, the fir branch. Doesn't that look lovely? This is going to make all the difference. There you go. So you just gently flick out like that and it will just soften this completely. Really nice. There you go. So I think that'll do. That'll do, Donkey. Um, I don't think I've forgotten to tell you anything. Sunday, ding a ling a ling. New stamps. Fantastic new stamps. New groovy plate to go with it. Not too expensive, really. I don't think. I think it's a, it's it's just a. No, it's not a huge bundle. I haven't gone mad. It's just a nice little, nice little, all year round kind of deal, really. Very, very pretty things. Very pretty. Jazz always does such pretty stuff. Um, so that'll be fun. And then sometime between now and then, I've got to go and get some salt and vinegar crisps because our lad, Mark, he's coming over from California to meet in, in New York. He's coming over with lovely Alex. So um, they've all put their orders in. I've got a Colin the Caterpillar cake I've got to take again. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kids. Once a kid, you know what I mean? It brings the child out when mum turns up. Um, so I've got Colin the Caterpillar cake, <laughs> uh, salt vinegar crisps. What else is on the list? Cadbury's chocolate. They do not like American chocolate. <laughs> what else have I got? Oh, matchmakers, orange and mint ones. They like them. Yeah, they are funny kids. Yorkshire tea, of course. Yorkshire tea bags. Yeah. And <laughs> maybe pottery, maybe not pottery. <laughs> it depends. Depends on this week. So anyway, friends, listen, I'm going to call it a day. I think you got the picture. You understand that you can make that, you can you can change this, you can turn it, you can put it on the top, you can put it on the side, you can decorate it, you can colour this in, you could you could put the stencils coming in now, the, 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 the stripy stencils would look really cool coming in from the side as well. So lots of lovely ideas. I hope you enjoyed our session together. It's edging up on 11 o'clock and I have got a list as long as my arm. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Lots of love. Have a great week. Thanks, Paul, for your help. Bye-bye now. And I shall see you on Thursday night in the Craft Along at, yes, 6 o'clock. Bye-bye now.